It's me, Mikey Pipes, the unofficial brand ambassador for the Bosch IDS 2.1 connected heat pump inverter. And I gotta tell you, Bosch makes great products, but waiting for that thing to stop flashing and turn solid green on the one on the left takes a lot more than six minutes. I've been sitting here for 21 minutes so far. And that thing is still flashing like it is right now. Here's our brand new Bosch IDS 2.1 three ton heat pump inverter. There it is, right? There it is, guys, the BOVB. There she is, beautiful machine. This is the three ton condenser. It's matched with the two ton air handler up in the attic. And it is one o'clock, oh, 102 in the afternoon. We started this replacement installation earlier today at around 8.05 a.m. Um, we have our heat pump condenser on Diversitex high rise pad. This is made for heat pumps, designed to save time, save money, and really, really makes it look like a nice, sweet job. We took our 3 8 uh, liquid line, we put some nice bends on there, we brazed. There's our one uh, joint right there, not a coupling, but we swedged that. And we have our three quarter there as well. It looks really, really nice. Our three eighths filter dryer is located inside. Unlike these that are here, right? Where you're outside. Look at this one over here. Look at that one. You think that's gonna leak in the near future? Absolutely. So do yourself a favor and put your filter dryers inside at the evaporator, because that's where they belong. And you'll protect it from the weather. This makes sense, right? All right, I'm trying to scan in the QR code. She don't like to scan. Nope. She don't like to scan. Did they use any beta testing whatsoever when they before they put this product out? Any whatsoever? Come on. And by the way, we're still flashing. Well, I thought I would take those numbers, right, and enter them in here, but uh, it doesn't like the gateway Bluetooth ID, which there's the Bluetooth ID, 0003. E G3 and yeah <laughs> gateway password serial number um, yeah guys uh, I don't know what the hell you were thinking with this connected nonsense but it's um, an epic fail all right so I manually entered those numbers for the Bluetooth ID I just added Bosch HP to the front of that and now it's asked me to connect to Bluetooth so we're gonna enable Bluetooth settings on my phone, we're gonna open the access panel and press and hold the connect button on the gateway for four seconds. Once the Bluetooth blue light starts blinking, we're gonna press the connect button on the app below. Open, okay, we, we have Bluetooth enabled on our phone. All right, and once that's flashing, we're going to hit connect. So let's find our Bluetooth button that says connect right there, right? Hold that down for four seconds. Okay. She is flashing. Now that that's flashing, it's blinking, we're gonna press the connect button and the pin is 4-1. Really, it want me to remember that? Come on, seriously? That is retarded. I know, I got a picture of this. Oh, I can copy it. Okay, copy. All right, let's hit connect. Oh, it didn't connect anymore. Now I gotta hit, oh, it's still flashing, okay. We're connect. It's still trying to connect, but I don't think it's going to connect because, oh my God, are you kidding me? Here it is, this one here. <laughs> Why can't I go into it? Are you kidding me? I have to do all that again? Oh my God, this is ridiculous. It's still trying to connect. I probably have to delete it. Oh my God, this is crazy. Did they even beta test this before they put it out? All right, we're flashing blue. Let's hit connect. And just as we've had three times before, you cannot connect to the app. The time before, I didn't get it on camera. It asked me to enter the, the Bluetooth pairing pin. I entered that in and it said unsuccessful. Make sure you hold it down for four seconds so the blue light flashes. And now it's unsuccessful. Make sure the IDS BLE is turned on within range. Yeah, bro, I'm right on top of it. And this is just another epic fail. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are done. It is 122 
and we are on our way to Mocha Bistro Asian Fusion uh, for lunch. We're going to have some sushi for lunch, and one of the YouTube subscribers, uh, Scott, is going to meet us there as well. It's going to be nice. But 122 keys in the ignition. Um, I did take about 20 minutes. <laughs> Crazy. I wasted around, realistically, around 35 minutes trying to connect the Bosch Easy Air app um, to the 2.1 connected control on the outdoor condenser. Around 35 minutes, no exaggeration. Um, it said it takes about four to six minutes for it to stop blinking. Well, it took around 27, 28 minutes for it to stop. And after entering in the gateway, the serial number and the, and the serial number of the unit, um, I gave up. I did that twice, I gave up. It's not working. It's just, it's just, uh, it's a piece of garbage. And obviously there's, they did no zero beta testing on this product before they released it to the public. That does not affect my opinion of the Bosch IDS series family. I think the 2.0 and now the 2.1, the premium connected uh, machine is a beautiful machine, very energy efficient, uh, but the connected control you get a, a double thumbs down. And if I wasn't using one hand to record, I would have two of them like this. Sure. All right, now we're having lunch. And then the Kobe beef is coming. Kobe beef is coming, excellent. Kobe beef. Yes, and Kobe beef, with, with the vegetable fried rice. rice. There you go. So we have this truffle there. Truffle and this there. is... Um, and there's a, like a spicy... The, and there's the, there's the, the, the fish eggs. Uh-huh, Ecola. And you have the salmon, the tuna, and the yellowtail. Okay, your Kobe beef. You have there. the... And there's the Kobe beef. There you go. It's killer right there. It's killer. Look at that. Oh! See? This is a company benefit working at Pipe Doctor. You get to have sick, sick lunch. Okay, so we had a nice, nice... Uh, Nice lunch. They gave us a free bottle of wine. It's not kosher, so I'm not bringing it home. But look at this, Scott. You're a YouTube subscriber. You have a Mikey Pipes Burnham Alpine with the a Alpine SL55, I believe it is. Yes, it is. Right? You come with Mikey Pipes for lunch, you get a free fucking bottle of wine. Yep. Thank See? you, Mikey Pipes. Smash that thumbs up button, guys. Thank you.